probably many in the audience don't know the story of your background, but you actually spent a fair bit of time outside the country and then, um, you know, in the recent past, decided to move back to India. What actually took you to the US and more importantly, what brought you back to, to start your business? Uh, what took me to the US? Um, I followed a boy <laughs> who is now my co-founder, so long-term investment, I suppose. <laughs> um, uh, so I went to do my grad school in the US, so I got a degree, master's in product design, um, and I worked for over 10 years at Intel. Uh, my then uh, husband, uh, you know, multiple roles, he was, uh, he's a neuroscientist by background. Um, and he was working with DARPA and defense and in the US building AI systems and computer vision based systems. And I come from, at Intel, I spent a considerable chunk of my time building product systems that use image recognition and different types of AI. And uh, the two of us, very different types of industry, right? I'm hardcore corporate, hardcore academia. Um, he was at Stanford while uh, just contemplating becoming a professor, been in academia for like close to 15 years and uh, the two of us always knew we were going to do something together and uh, both of us were very frustrated with our journeys in AI in our respective worlds. In academia, this, the story was largely about AI being in science labs, in highly controlled environments, where if you take a piece of AI out of that controlled environment, it breaks. It can't live outside of that environment, right? And for me in corporate, in the corporate world, um, as Intel was trying to build out many different types of platform teams, um, again, scaling image recognition, computer vision, AI in the context of a really large organization that was trying to reinvent itself, had its set of challenges as well, but I learned uh, a ton in that environment. And so around 2013, we looked around the market, there weren't too many efforts actually bringing this kind of AI into the market um, on scale. Right? And that is something we were really driven by. How do you take AI of different kinds, computer vision, NLP, all types of AI, and how do you put it in the hands of people in a meaningful way, where you're actually trying to solve a meaningful problem is something that really drove us, right? A and why India back? Why back to India? Well, you know, it's, it, we were in SF, and it's a highly, highly noisy market, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, people kept asking us, why would you leave SF to go to Chennai to start a deep tech company? It made no sense to most people, but uh, I tell people Chennai is a university town. <laughs> for a lack of, a, again, for a lack of a better way to put it, some brilliant deep tech talent over there, AI talent in Chennai. Um, very grounded talent as well. Um, not a frothy market at all. And uh, we had, we found a huge opportunity to build you know, a pretty large organization. We're almost 150, 200 people today, and we found a fantastic opportunity to really bring that talent out, nurture them, and build this kind of a deep tech kind of talent pool out of Chennai. And we now cross geography. We're in SF, we're in Chennai, we're in Japan, we're in multiple geographies today.